from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're tagging along on two exciting hunting trips where bow hunting for big whitetails was the name of the game. The thing about bow hunting is that it's up close and personal. All of your movements have to be exact, and when you're that close, your timing has to be exactly right as well, right? When that deer comes in, you need to know when to draw, you need to know when to make that shot, and it's those little tiny differences that end up being the difference between success and failure, right? I mean, just one step can be the difference between getting that animal or completely missing. To kick things off, we'll start by revisiting an opening weekend Kentucky hunt with Steve Nessel. And later, we'll make our way down to Deer Camp in Texas where Brandon Polinick visited with the hopes of bringing home his first ever whitetail buck with a bow. With as much land as we have to cover here in Kentucky, it's almost impossible to traverse without a reliable and durable mode of transportation. Before we join Steve in the field, let's learn about the Yamaha side-by-sides we'll use to navigate the vast stretches of Kentucky terrain. Our entire line of side-by-sides and ATVs, that's available to you as a bow hunter. As long as you have enough room to put your bow, your pack, and then you still have room for a deer, or whatever it is you're trying to go after, they're all good. Realistically, what someone can expect when they get a side-by-side -side from Yamaha is probably not having to buy another side-by-side -side for a long period of time. Features, benefits, performance, it's all, almost all gravy in the fact that you can count on that vehicle to start every time you get in it, take you to where you want to go, make sure that you get back. And it's that confidence and that comfort in knowing it's one less thing you have to worry about. To learn more about the full lineup of Yamaha side-by-side -side vehicles, visit YamahaOutdoors.com. So the spot I'm going to is actually one of two right off the back of our camp, and I knew there are good bucks down in this spot. So four o'clock, we're in the R-Max, we're rolling down, and we park the furthest I think I've ever parked from a stand here in Kentucky. We're almost a half a mile because big bean field to our left, could be deer bedded down in it. We don't want to jump them, so we're going to park far away. We're going to take our time walking in, and we're going to get up, we're going to get quiet, and we're going to wait. We're up and we're settled. It's still early. We're at the edge of a field, kind of at the bottom. Realistically, I don't know where they're going to come from. They may bed it up there. Hopefully not too much behind us where they catch our scent, but either side or out of, these, out of this tree line will be good. I got shots from 15 to 40, so now we wait. Before you know it, I hear something off to my left and I look down, there's this little doe. I'm just content to sit there and watch. Still got some time, it's not prime time. We're comfortable, we're in the shade. All's well so far. And all of a sudden, here are two bucks. They don't even know we're there. That was the beauty of it. They were calm, never looked our way. But then all of a sudden, a deer blows. These deer in front look up, almost like, what are you blowing at? They get calm again and I look at Jeff, okay, cool. Don't worry about that. When all of a sudden I saw a deer right at the top of the tree line, big bodied deer, lost my breath, heart starts to beat. And now I really have to tell myself to calm down, be patient, and don't do anything stupid because I can barely breathe and my heart's about to come out of my chest. Don't move. Well, the big boy, he comes in and he settles facing me for, for a second, and then he starts to kind of just move around and feed and do what deer do, and try to figure out a time when I had his head down, him away, him comfortable, him broadside, right? Him in a good position without the other two deer in a spot where they could look at me. And just when I thought I had that right moment, I went to get drawn, and that deer's head pops up, and he looks directly at me. arrow flew, it hit that deer and it pummeled him. It knocked him over, he was down. And it looked like a good shot right there at the shoulder, 
but he's moving. Like he doesn't want to go. He wants to get up and, and leave. And so collectively, I don't even know if we said a word, but when I reached for my arrow, Jeff's like, yeah. So I grabbed the second arrow to put it in him because if he's not going to run and die, whether I've got heart or lung, I'm gonna help him do it right there as fast as I possibly can. There he goes. There he goes. I don't even know where to begin. It's opening day in Kentucky. We got light, we've been in the stand for three and a half, four hours, and I killed one of the biggest deer of my life. He is, he's immense, he's a stud. He is a fighter because I'm not exactly sure what happened. He may have ducked my string and I may got a little higher, but he's right there. And I'm tagged out in Kentucky and oh my goodness, dude. I, oh, I can't even believe it. He's not a, the size of a small horse, he's the size of a medium sized horse. Holy. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. Ah. Look at this. He's starting to lose the velt or the velt right here. I got some of it on my hands. Whoa, we gotta get him preserved. What a stud. Look at all this character on him. <sighs> Thank you, buddy. We scored ourselves a hoss of a velvet Kentucky buck. Opening day. Can't script it any better than this. As cliche as it sounds, this is what bow hunting dreams are made of. All right, it's time to get him out. We gotta get there are other deer in here. We gotta get him out because there may have be other hunters want to come back in here late later this week even. So we're gonna respect that, respect him, and then celebrate as well. <clears throat> thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, buddy. Whew. It's just an amazing feeling. It's uh, it's why we come up here and do this. That and all the camp life and spending time with friends. It's exactly why I came here, what I hope for, and why I keep coming back. Congratulations, Steve. What a phenomenal buck to take with your bow. Coming up, we're migrating south like a bird for some Texas whitetail bow hunting with Brandon Polinek. Trust, it comes from experience. Long seasons, short nights. Lessons learned and shared. Sometimes it's easy, but usually it isn't. Seasons come and go, and few things last. But the ones that do are the ones you trust. Always hope for the buck of a lifetime. When it comes. Will you be ready? Zero. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. We are down here in Southwest Texas. This is actually my first deer hunt ever down here. And actually my first really chance at a archery buck that I've ever had. I've never killed any big game animals with a bow yet. 
Well, it's the morning of Brandon's hunt, and we can feel the excitement in the air. Let's check in and see what the game plan is for today. Well, I did catch word that we're going to a pretty infamous place called the Killing Tree. So, obviously it's got a history. Uh, I'm excited about it. This is my first time hunting down in Texas, and I'm looking forward to it. You never know what's going to walk out here. <laughs> but we're in a really cool place. I love coming down here. Uh, last time I was here was for the Turkey Bass Smash. And I'm just looking forward to uh, getting out there. It's been a while since I got to sit in a stand. Anytime you're planning to head out to the stand, you always want to run through a mental checklist before you leave. Backpack, check. Binos, check. Bow, check. Whoa, uh, wait, uh, where's the bow? I was so excited that I had everything in my room packed away, brought it out in the morning, hung my bow up on the post, and lo and behold, just drove off and left it there. Had everything else, had my release, had my binos, backpack, everything. No bow. Hey, something tells me uh, you might need this. It helped, but I just didn't want to crowd the other guys in the back seat. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Well, now that Brandon has his bow in tow, it's time to really hit the field. So, if you are at all familiar with this show, we're obviously not in the killing tree because we're not in a tree. You may ask yourself why we're not in the killing tree. It's because somebody forgot their bow this morning. Rookie mistake on my part. Got too excited, left my bow hanging on the post, and drove off. <laughs> Didn't realize it till we were almost to the other stand. And it was gonna be too late. We didn't wanna mess up that stand because there's a couple deer in there we wanna go after. So we ended up going to a closer one. We did see quite a few deer this morning. Saw quite a few bucks. One that was like potential shooter buck that we just never got a chance at, but I enjoyed it. We'll see what this afternoon brings though. Brandon may not have let an arrow fly on a buck this morning, but everything happens for a reason. When we come back, we'll head out in the afternoon for round two. Sometimes the world can seem a cold place, so we gotta bring the warmth to it. Sometimes the world can seem a dark place, so we gotta become the light in it. Sometimes the world can seem a broken place, so we gotta strive to fix it. We prepare for the worst, but we must always Always expect the best. When we discovered Evercom Deer Scent, we were just a small family deer farm, and we still are today. Our family put in long hours wondering if it would be worth it. Then, in the late 2000s, the recession hit, and hunters discovered how well Evercom worked to harvest deer. Their freezers were filled while losing their jobs. With high inflation and empty store shelves, Evercom can help fill your family freezer by bringing in more deer with ease. Our family is standing with yours. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Down here, one of the big things is being able to move and locate to areas where these deer are active. This week we've been using the Yamaha R-Max Ellie. We're in the four-seater. The thing is, is that it eliminates a lot of that time 
uh, moving between places, and it's easy to access, right? I mean, there's not really any limitations on where you can go with those things. And it's just nice to be able to sneak into those areas, get set up the way that you need to, and be able to cover that ground in a quick hurry. We're finally in the killing tree. I didn't name it that. It's a historic place. I actually just found out that I've played a video game that is based around this exact stand. And uh, that's pretty dang cool. So this is where we we're supposed to be this morning. If someone would have forgot their bow, this is where we would have been sitting first thing. But I'm feeling good about it. It's a good setup. Arrows are gonna fly tonight. We had some does and fawns, a couple small bucks start showing up and they're pushing around and I just love being that close to those animals, right? You're just watching them be wild, do their normal thing. They don't know you're there. You're just sitting there in the tree, letting deer be deer. And I just love watching them, right? There was a little fawn kind of playing around and messing around with this other smaller buck and seeing how they live their normal lives to me is honestly the thing that I enjoy most about hunting, right? It's like putting myself in their environment without them knowing I'm there. Next thing you know, like the ghost that they are, all of a sudden he just appears out of the brush. And it didn't take very long to figure out he was gonna be a shooter. And I had already ranged it. I knew it was right there in that 20 yard zone. And he steps out and he's kind of quartered at me. And I remember talking earlier of just being patient, right? These deer, they're just gonna kind of mingle around. So don't try to rush a shot. And with him being quartered to me, I just I took my time. Tried not to get too excited so I could make a good shot. And right as he started to turn away and I went to draw, he didn't spook. He just never stopped. He just kept turning and walked straight away from us. Walked out there about 55 or 60 yards and never got a shot at him. And I thought, this buck's not coming back. Like, he's just going to feed his way out and he's going to be gone. Fifteen more minutes goes by. Here he comes walking on back, and I'm like, oh, I already know what's gonna happen here. And he starts coming right back to where he had turned broadside before, and he comes right in there. He's about 25 yards this time, turns broadside, and he's just kind of slowly walking through this one shooting lane that I got, and I drew back. As soon as he took one step forward, I just let Nero fly. Stay tuned, we'll return for the conclusion of Brandon's hunt after this short break. There's only room for one at the top. With speeds of 505 feet per second, the Nitro 505 is the fastest crossbow in the world. 10 points, defining crossbow precision for over 25 years. From sun up to sun down, Day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. Now, when we left for break, Brandon had just sent an arrow flying. Well, let's see how this scene played out.
first that's the first buck I've ever shot at with my bow oh my gosh <laughs> oh killing tree <laughs> killing tree scores again <laughs> killing tree scores again that's a good buck dude good that's size. a cool He's buck got a little that's kicker on there gosh. that's a good buck that's Dang, good, that was good cool. shot good shot <laughs> good shot I don't think he ran too far. It sounded like we could hear him. Sat up there for about 30 minutes. Gave him a little bit of time, but go check out where we shot him, see if we can get on a blood trail and find this thing. Shows up good on that white rock. That's awesome. With a bow. That's awesome. <laughs> Freaking sweet. Turn him out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Dear. Oh, there's my arrow. Just hanging it, by the fletching. Yeah. Yeah. What Look a bug. At that. Got him a little kicker on the side. Hell yeah, it's right there. Be careful with that. Gosh, that's cool. Got that little kicker coming off there. That's cool. That does not get old. There's just something special about being that close to him. I gotta say thank you. This has been such an awesome trip. Amazing people, amazing, you know, part of this country. And thank you for letting me get on my first archery whitetail. It will not be the last. I'm addicted and I hope that I get to come back down here someday because it is it's just a really cool part of the world. It's a different experience that I don't get to experience in my daily life. Congratulations, Brandon. This is an impressive Texas whitetail with an awesome story you can tell back home and when you're on the road competing in bass fishing tournaments across the nation. Now, as you can see, bow hunting is a favorite among hunters for the sheer challenge and thrill of hunting with a bow and arrow. And when you can find a hunting platform that allows you to get up close and personal with wildlife like we saw today, well, there's nothing like it. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. This episode was made possible by these partners. Help your engine run better and last longer with Seafoam's truck and SUV motor treatment. A new 20 ounce can for bigger tanks. Seafoam is safe and easy to use in all types of gas and diesel engines. Just pour it in. Seafoam works to clean and lubricate your entire fuel system. Helps engines start easier and run smoother. Reduces long term engine wear and helps prevent costly engine problems. Make the proven choice. Seafoam truck and SUV is available everywhere automotive products are sold. Year 
of the Air Gun Hunter. Umarex Air Guns. It's in our nature to protect, defending our heritage, our way of life, and the ones we love. It's your right. Don't give it up. Protect it or lose it. Walkers. Unlock your buck's full genetic potential with Record Rack Sportsman Premium Deer Feed with all the vitamins and minerals to support healthy body weight and antler growth. You're not just feeding your deer, you're feeding them better. Learn more at recordrack.com. Hi-Viz sights are forged to be the brightest and most durable sights no matter where you are. In the home. <laughs> on the range. During competition. Or out in the field. See what you've been missing with Hi-Viz.